Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this purple and pink cut crease with the Naruto palette by Colourpop. Let me just say that this is probably one of my favorite glams that I did with this palette, you guys. It is so pretty, so soft and very warm toned. I love it. First, we're going to be starting off with this very, very light shade, you guys. And we're going to be applying this all over our crease and above our crease. So since I want to get the best pigment out of these eyeshadows, you guys, I did not set my concealer. I mentioned this in a lot of my previous videos. It is just so we can get the best out of these eyeshadows and just get the brightest shades. This is why I keep stopping and applying more in tapping motions because I am setting my concealer with the actual eyeshadows themselves. As soon as you feel like it has already been set and you're ready to blend... Now we're going to be blending in side to side motions or small circular motions like I am right now. And we are also throwing this out towards that outer corner, kind of making a wing effect at the end of our eye. Only because this is going to be a sharp cut crease. Next, we're going to be going in with this darker shade of purple and we're going to be applying this right on our crease. Please do not go above the other shade that we just applied. Try to keep it in this area like I am doing so right here. We are not going to go above the light shade of purple. So as you guys can see, just exactly like the other shade, we are using tapping motions to apply this color before we start blending only because we want the concealer to set with the eyeshadow shade. So I'm going to be dragging this out towards that outer corner as well, kind of making that wing effect that I told you guys about. And then as soon as we are done with this, we are going to go back in with the previous brush and we're just going to be blending this out so that these colors blend together. You guys, this is literally the definition of trust the process. I know it's going to look messy and it looks so weird, but trust me, when you see the results, they are bomb. It is so worth it. Now I'm taking some more of this color, the dark purple, and we are going to be blending this out really, really good. You guys, these shades, I don't know why they do this, but I actually like that it did this. They are not as dark as they look. Like this eyeshadow color, if you get it with your finger, it will look super dark. But on your eyelid, it is not that dark. Now we're going to be going in with a Q-tip and the eye makeup remover liquid. If you guys want to purchase the Q-tips, you guys, they are from my website. The link is down below in the description. And we're going to be cutting our crease with this like we are doing right now. And we're going to be dragging this upwards onto that crease. See, this is why I told you guys, trust the process. If it looks messy, once you cut that crease, girl, mm look at how nice that's looking <laughs> let me know if you guys purchased this collection or at least the eyeshadow palette down below in the comments and give me your opinion on it what do you guys think about it also you guys i am not taking this cut crease all the way out as you guys can see i'm stopping right there not even on my lash line way before that and i'm just removing the rest of the powder that's on there and this is where we're going to be keeping it you guys I'm going to share a trick with the little q-tips that I do you guys. After I clean this out with the eye makeup remover liquid, I use the other side of the q-tip that is completely clean with no liquid and I just remove any extra little oil that's left over. Now as you guys can see, I'm cleaning out the edge and the look is coming together. It is giving <laughs> look at that it looks so sharp and nice and if you want to intensify that you can also like underline it with concealer anyways now i'm going in with the beauty creations foundation to cut my crease and you guys already know those of you guys that watch me but if you don't know this you guys just gives it a more dramatic effect it is one of my favorite techniques to use after removing the product we apply this right on top and it just gives this nice clean sharp canvas i love it also ladies if you guys want to purchase this brush it is from my website i love this specifically for cut creases you guys i will not be changing this brush anytime soon i saw these down below in the description if you guys want to go check it out okay ladies as soon as we're done applying this we're gonna be going in with this baby pink shade take a look at this you guys look at this shade i'm using a flat brush to apply it 
this is so pretty it is like a very very light pink with a very very small amount of glitter on it it is so pretty you guys also try not to touch the purple at the top because we do not want it to make the purple look lighter but you guys just take a look at this color it is beautiful on top of this dark shade if you guys have seen the video up until this point please comment down below the word pink because honestly i'm obsessed with this shade <laughs> and that just lets me know that you guys are real ones and you guys are actually watching my tutorials all the way through next i'm just going back in with the dark shade you guys and i'm just going to be blending this out in that outer corner so we can blend into the light pink shade as you guys can see i'm dragging this towards that waterline at the bottom as well make sure it's really well blended after that i'm going to be going back in with the other light purple and i'm going to be blending this out right in front of that dark shade and then we're going right back in with the dark shadow. I know this is a back and forth thing, but we need this to look as blended as possible. <laughs> and here we have the finishing look, you guys. I did not use eyeliner for this look because I wanted you guys to see the full cut crease look without anything getting in the way. <laughs> look at how nice these colors look together, you guys so yeah you guys this is the finishing result thank you guys so much for watching remember to like this video subscribe leave a comment down below give me some color suggestions i would really appreciate it and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye